Myositis. Myositis is what happens when we inject, like we said, adrenaline or epinephrine in the muscle. It will start to be inflamed. So what do we do to help it? No, that's different than uh, muscle tension. This is a real cause of irritation inside the muscle. So you have injected adrenaline, so the tissue is inflamed. If you take a section of the area here, you will see, well, my pointer tab, you will see that there are inflammatory cells. Right, we can give medications. Like what? Which is from what family? NSAIDs, exactly. Painkillers are either NSAIDs or mm -hmm. centrally acting, like, oh, that's high, high, high. <laughs> like paracetamol. What's the difference between paracetamol and ibuprofen? Ipop Correct. Correct. So paracetamol is not anti-inflammatory. It's analgesic. Analgesic can yani reduce the pain only. But here we have inflammation. So we want to give anti-inflammatory. So we give NSAIDs, which is what? It has a huge family. Ibuprofen, naproxen, Voltarine, Voltafax, all of these NSAIDs, a huge group. But always start simple with ibuprofen. So to go back to this episode, doctor, since you gave me the injection, I had pain. What is the protocol to treat? Take ibuprofen. How much per day? Three times a day, how many? 400 or? 600. What is the difference between giving 400 versus 600? Mm -hmm. What else? Perfect. The higher the dose, the more the anti-inflammatory effect. The lesser the dose, it acts like analgesic. So depending what you want. You want analgesia or anti-inflammatory? We want anti-inflammatory, so we need to go up 600 or you know, we can go 800, but not recommended. 600, three times a day after food. Remember, it's irritant to the stomach, so we need to give it after food. Come on. So it's inflammation due to the irritation of the needle, and we give it that. Now, something you will not read in books, but I will tell you from my own experience. When your patient has trismus, what is their problem mainly? Is it the pain or that they cannot open? Right, they cannot open. Usually they don't, when they're sitting, it's not painful. Only when they attempt to open. So what I would advise you to do is to tell them after they take the ibuprofen, how long does it take for the ibuprofen to take effect, you think? Half an hour at peak, yeah, and you feel it peak within 30 minutes to an hour, let's say. During that time, let them try to open. Because we want to regain the length of the muscle. I, have to, I don't want them to go into a cycle of I cannot open, I cannot open, I cannot open, and become a more chronic trismus issue. Exactly or if they can bear with it, let them try to open. They can break it immediately, the cycle. That's why sometimes when they come to us the second day for treatment, they are forced to open in the clinic. صح? They will deal with it. And then they, you feel, oh, they are able to open. صح? They break high cycle. But they are usually afraid to open. يعني in the house, they feel like, oh, I cannot open, خلص. let me uh, act within the range of comfort. But I'm just warning you that we don't want them to be chronically going into this cycle without management. It can become a chronic issue of limited mouth opening. Be careful. We have to get out of it within one week. 
Okay, so that is the management. I approve.